So we're now going to do a figure of eight strapping for an ankle. Um, so we're really looking to protect the lateral ligament complex here or the deltoid complex on the inside. But the usual one that is um, injured is, is the lateral ligament complex. So what we've got to do is get the, the patient to hold their foot in that position there. So we're going to strap, do a figure of eight strapping, the, the base level strapping for um, the ankle. And we're going to be protecting the lateral ligament complex or the deltoid complex on the inside. The, the usual one that is injured is the, the outside, the, the lateral ligament complex. What's quite key in this is that the, the patient holds their, their foot in that position there. If they start to relax it, then what happens is you put the strapping on, it becomes far too loose, and then you have to redo it again. The, um, when you do a strapping, it already loosens anyway when you put it on, so it's quite important that at the start of it, you get it uh, the tightness you need it. Um, in the reverse of that, if you put it on too tight when you, when, you, when you do the ankle strapping, as soon as somebody walks around, they'll find it's far too tight to wear and they won't be able to wear it. So you've got to get a fine balance between the two. What you're going to need for this is, is um, some underwrap, some adhesive, maybe some scissors, um, and some elastic adhesive bandage, EAB as we call it. And there's two different sizes, but I'm going to use the larger one here. The underwrap is used if you've got somebody that is... Um, particularly hairy, um, and because otherwise if you put the tape on without the underwrap it can pull all the hairs off and pull the skin off. You use the adhesive as well underneath the underwrap to make sure that the underwrap stays in position because the downsides of using the underwrap is that it will actually come away um, and then the ankle strapping then becomes really loose. So what I'm going to do here is show, the, uh, show it with the underwrap first. Okay, so the underwrap, this is just used to roll around the ankle. Now as you can see I'm just keeping it in contact with the ankle the whole time. It's rolling round and I finish there. That's just to put the strapping on so that's nothing to do with the actual uh, tension or, or, or strapping that we're trying to do for the ankle. So I'm going to get the patient to pull their, their ankle upwards. I'm going to start on the outside of the ankle like so. Okay. I'm then going to come across to the inside. Now be careful here, because if you pull too tight here, at the base of the, the bone, bony part here, they will find that far too uncomfortable and they'll end up taking the strapping off. So don't pull too tight here. I'm coming across the ankle and I'm now going to make a figure of eight. So I'm around the back of the Achilles. I'm then going to come down a little bit further back and I'm now encasing the heel. Okay, I'm going up to do a figure of eight again. I'm coming around the top. I'm then going to do exactly the same and I'm going to finish because what I want to do is try and not have any kind of gap in the tape here. So I'm going to try and cover that part that I've just done. Around we go. And then I'm going to come around to the bottom of the heel. Diagonally up again. And then round the top. <clears throat> and then I'm going to rip it. Ideally, with the, so a lot of the tapes you can buy, you can rip them. If you can't, then obviously you're going to need to use scissors. But the idea on a, on a football pitch or on a, a sports pitch is you're going to need to be able to do the strapping very quickly. So ideally, you want to be able to rip it. When I look at a strapping, if, you, if it's been done uh, well, you should have no creases in the taping because creases can cause blisters quite easily. So you've got to be very careful you don't have any creases when you do it. Take your time when you're doing it. Um, especially if you've got time to do it. And what you don't want to have is any gaps, as I said, at the back here, because what will happen is, as you start running around, you'll get rubbing in this area, and then you'll start to cause a blister. And then that then puts that, that uh, athlete off using um, strappings in the future. So that's what a, a figure of eight strapping should look like.